Let's proceed. With Council, your... I refer to your complaint, Article 2, and I will read it. Respondent committed culpable violation of the Constitution and arbitrated the public trust when he failed to disclose to the public his statement of assets, liabilities, and net worth as required under the 1987 Constitution. I do not need to underline that what you say, what, the, what you allege against the respondent is that he failed to disclose to the public his statement of assets, liabilities, and net worth, which I shall call SALN or SALN. Under the rules, you are not allowed to introduce evidence that is not relevant to the failure to disclose to the public, the sal N. But in the spirit of liberality, this court has allowed you to do so. Now, I will proceed to the discussion of Article 2 under your paragraph 2.3. And I quote, it is also reported that some of the properties of respondent are not included in his declaration of his assets, liabilities, and net worth in violation of the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act. First question to you, are you charging respondent under the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act? Your Honor, please, to answer the question with the permission of the Honorable Presiding Officer. Pr proceed and with the indulgence of the honorable senators, may I be permitted to point out, first of all, that- Why do you have to point out answer? Yes or no? The allegations- I am tired of hearing your voice. Yes, but the allegations of the complaint determine the jurisdiction of the court that over the case, Your Honor. Do not override me. I have, we've already heard that. On your pleadings, you've said that in your, sub, in, your sub, in your motion for subpoena, you've said that in your memorandum. Do not be sententious because every hour counts. Kaya, madali lang naman sagutin itong pagtatanong na ito. Ito bang pinapasagot natin o respondent natin? Ay binibintangan mo sa ilalim ng Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act. Yes or no? Opo, Madam Senator, dahil oh, nakalagay dito in violation of the Anti-Graft and Corrupt read. Practices Act. Give me the presumption of literacy. Yes. And don't ever overstep yourself. Ngayon, pagtatanong ko sa iyo ganito. Do not engage in a colloquy with me. As I pointed out during the Estrada impeachment trial, you are not supposed to discuss or argue during an impeachment trial. But especially you when you are speaking to the impeachment judge. Can we answer the questions, no. however, the way we feel no. it should be answered? You should <laughs> answer according to the rules of court as determined by the Senate acting as an impeachment court. That is the rule here. Can and the uh, specific rule be cited for our guidance? Your yes. Honor? Okay. The Constitution allows the Senate to, um, to promulgate its own rules of procedure. That has been repeated in this instance, and this is the end of this colloquy. How dare you? Raise questions to my authority. Be yes. careful, because I might request my colleagues to inhibit you and disqualify you from appearing here. May I uh, intervene, uh, Madam uh, Senator? Uh, I would like to explain that uh, the members, uh, the non-elected members of the uh, Senate uh, as well as the House of Representatives can argue among themselves, but not to argue against any elected member of Congress. Because we, uh, there is a parliamentary uh, tradition involved in this. Only elected members of the people can use this forum to argue with one another. I am a senator judge. I'm not here in my capacity as a politician. Politicians, when I appear in a rally, anyone can heckle me, but you cannot heckle me. You cannot engage in what the law calls a colloquy with me. You cannot engage in a discussion or argumentation with me. I'm the judge. I preside here. How many years have you been in trial practice, counsel? 42 years. And what have you specialized in? Is it not true that you specialize in maritime law? In everything, Your Honor. What an impertinent answer. Let me go to the point, because I might lose my temper with you. <laughs> Ngayon, sinasabi mo na you are accusing the respondent under the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act. 
I have here before me a copy of the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act. It enumerates what are the acts which establish graft and corruption. Show me or read to me which of this particular listing under the law you are accusing, under which of this listing are you accusing the respondent of graft and corruption? Dahil dito merong A, B, C, D, E, hanggang K. I'm talking about Section 3 of the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act. Number 3, Section 3, Corrupt Practices of Public Officers. O ngayon, turo mo, saan dyan? From letter A to letter K. 